Lesson number five in Charlene Drake's book, The Complete Method for the Lap Harp, is probably one of the most important lessons in any method book. It talks about how to play a scale, which involves crossing the fourth finger under the thumb like this. There are many little details involved in this exercise. One of the things that you do is as you're playing a scale, your elbow also moves up. So you can feel your elbow moving up. That gives your fingers more room to play. Also, you're going to be crossing the fourth finger under the thumb if that's a little tricky for you, here's a little exercise that you can do. You can put your fourth finger on the F, sorry, you can put your thumb on the F and your fourth finger underneath it on the G and play the F maybe 10 times and then play the G maybe 10 times. go back to the exercise. And that might feel more comfortable for you. Another weird little exercise that you can do is put that fourth finger on the F, the thumb on the F, and the fourth finger on the G. never ever have to play anything like that in a real piece of music, but as an exercise, it might be helpful to you. And then go back to the scale. Another thing you can do is place your fingers on the strings, but don't play. This takes really more coordination than playing. And then go back. All four fingers are placed. As you play the thumb, fourth finger is under. Put all the rest on. Same thing with the left hand. 